All right, welcome to another episode of EDC with me. Uh, today I'll be covering the Leatherman Skeletool. There it is, black and silver. Now there's a few different versions of this. This is kind of uh, middle of the road. The higher end version is a better steel type. And instead of all steel, some of the portions, like here, are carbon fiber. Uh, you pay quite a bit more for it, about 20, 30 bucks. Could be worth it just for the steel type on the blade. Uh, also the blade on the higher end one is not serrated. So yeah, let's jump right into it. So I, I have a multi-tool. It's this tiny guy here, the Gerber Dime. And I carry this with me every day, very small. Little size comparison there. Uh, tons of tools in here. I have a review on this uh, if you want to check out on my on my YouTube. Uh, but I, I kind of wanted something a little more beefy, and that's why I had asked for this for the holiday season. Uh, so far, very happy. Uh, it is quite heavy. That is why someone would elect for the carbon uh, fiber version. I don't. I can't imagine it's much lighter. Uh, I went this way because it has a clip that it comes with, which is great. It's not necessarily a deep carry clip. It sticks out about this much in the pocket. But the clip itself does a really good job of uh, staying in the pocket. I'm not afraid of losing it. Even with this weight, it seems to stay pretty well. I keep it in a jacket pocket. For the time being which seems to work real well uh, this I like this uh, theme where it's uh, silver silver kind of frame and then all the tools are black so pliers here are black the pliers themselves seem to be pretty good the only thing I I, I kind of wish it had uh, spring assist here to reopen even my little Gerber here has spring assist to it. This one's all manual. It's not a deal breaker, but it would it would have been nice to see that. Just make it a little more functional with one hand. Uh, not that it's impossible to function with one hand. On the side here, you've got a bit, flathead bit, uh, which replaces this guy here. Uh, this is pretty smart design. There's a button for a release here. You can see these bits are a little different. They're flat. It's not your typical uh, hexagonal shape. Uh, but yeah, the retention on here is great. Release button's great. Not afraid of losing this. The retention here too is pretty good for the extra bit. I'm not worried about losing that either. Uh, but yeah, pliers on the inside. Extra bit. Uh, driver here, of course you've got wire cutters, crimper, things like that. Uh, the knife on here I really like, and this one again is serrated. You can see here, serrations there, serrations are really nice, well done. Blade shape's interesting, it's kind of a sheep's foot, sort of. I don't know what to call that. It's got a nice belly on it. Uh, you've got the frame lock here. Liner lock, rather. I guess that's a liner lock. Lockup seems to be... Uh, it's pretty far over. I'd like to see it more in the middle like this. That said, I don't think it's going to be a problem. We'll see how that develops. The concern here is over time this wearing and popping the other way. A uh, little detent ball there works really well. Nice and centered. Uh, the hole here acts as your thumb stud, essentially. Yeah, works great. Uh, the blade steel type, I think it's probably just a 420. Not worried about beating it up. Uh, there is one more tool on here. 
and that is the bottle opener, which doubles as a carabiner. I've used it. Uh, cap goes in here, pops open. Seems to work fine. This guy's got a bottle opener as well. Uh, one thing they don't mention is on the edge here, this could double as a flathead or maybe even a pry bar. I could see myself using this edge uh, as a screwdriver at times just for quick use. And then of course flipping out to the bit if I needed to. You know, after after having this for a month or so now, in, in all reality, this is really a knife with pliers. That's essentially what this tool is. It's a decent knife, decent pliers. Everything else is kind of a bonus. The trade-off being it's pretty heavy, it's pretty thick. Um, but as far as a user goes, it feels like it could really take a beating. Price point, I think it was 60 bucks. Uh, I'm real happy to have it on me. It's going to stay in my jacket. I don't know that I'm going to carry it in my pocket. This seems to do the job, most jobs for me as far as a pocket carry goes. So I'll continue to use the Gerber Dime for an everyday carry. This is more of a convenience carry when I can, meaning uh, wintertime with a jacket or in a bag. Uh, you can clip as a carabiner or clip here into a bag, which is great, having more than one option. <clears throat> you can even put a lanyard in here, no problem. Uh, overall, great tool. Uh, I'm excited to see the durability of it in the long run. And uh, yeah, real happy with it. Leatherman, great job, guys. Really unique. Love the design.